Hello everyone, welcome to my class. Today we are going to discuss some more concepts on screw gauge. So without wasting time, let's start the class. Students, screw gauge follows the principle of screw. So how can we define the pinch of a screw gauge? It can be defined as the linear distance travelled by the thimble over the sleeve when we give a complete rotation to the thimble. Okay, so what would be the least count then? Least count would be pitch divided by total number of divisions on the circular scale. So, how can we decrease the list count? Decrease list count. We can decrease list count by decreasing the pitch and increasing the number of divisions. Okay, so let us take an example to understand this in a better way. Okay, students, suppose a screw gauge is having 20 divisions in 1 centimeter. So each division would be 1 by 20 centimeter or we can say 0 0.05 centimeter or 0 0.5 millimeter. Fine. And if the circular scale circular scale is having 500 divisions okay so what would be the least count then? Pitch divided by the number of divisions. So 0 0.5 millimeter divided by 500. Okay. So it would be 5 by 10 into 1 by 500. That is 1 by 1000. So that would be equal to 0 0.001 millimeter or we can say 1 micrometer. So that is why it can be called as a micro meter screw gauge okay so by increasing the number of division to 500 we have converted the screw gauge into a micro meter screw gauge okay students in case of a screw gauge what we do we actually rotate the circular scale over the main scale and when the two stars are together and the zero of the circular scale coincides with the baseline of the main scale, then we say that the screw gauge is free from zero error. But sometimes due to the mechanical error, what happens? The zero of the circular scale doesn't coincide with the baseline of the main scale. In that case, we say that the screw gauge is having zero error. So we have two types of zero errors. First is positive zero error and another one is negative zero error. Okay. So let us now discuss about these zero errors one by one. Okay. Students, a screw gauge is said to be having positive zero error if the zero of the circular scale lies below the baseline of the main scale. As you can see in the diagram, the zero of the circular scale, it lies below the zero of the main scale. So this screw gauge is having positive zero error. Okay, so in that case, how to find out the zero error? Now we need to find the division which coincides with the zero of the main scale. Okay, so now you can clearly see that the fifth division of the circular scale is coinciding with the zero of the main scale. We need to multiply the number of division with the least count. Suppose the least count is 0 0.001 centimeter. So in this case the positive zero error would be plus 5 into 0 0.001 centimeter. That is equal to 0 0.005 centimeter. Okay. So this is the positive zero error for this screw gauge. Okay. 
Students, a screw gauze is said to be having negative zero error if the zero of the circular scale lies above the baseline of the main scale. As you can see in this diagram, that the zero of the circular scale is lying above the baseline of the main scale. So, how to find out the zero error in this case? We need to find out the number of division that coincides with the baseline of the main scale. As you can see in the diagram, the 95th division of the circular scale is coinciding with the baseline of the main scale. So, we need to subtract 95 from the total number of division. Before that, we need to give a negative sign as it is negative zero error. So, we need to subtract 95 from total number of division that is 100. So, 100 minus 95, it gives us minus 5. Now, we need to multiply this value with the least count. Suppose the least count is 0.001 centimeter. So, we need to multiply minus 5 with 0.001 centimeter, which gives us minus 0.005 centimeter. So, negative 0 error is equal to minus 0.005 centimeter. Okay. Now, as we have discussed about the positive zero error and the negative zero error, let us now proceed further and discuss about the correction we need to make due to zero error. Okay? Students, to find the correct reading, we need to subtract the zero error from the observed reading. That means, correct reading is equal to observed reading minus zero error okay and we need to keep it in mind that we have to maintain the sign of the zero error while putting the value over here that means for positive zero error we need to have a plus sign for negative zero error we need to have a negative sign for example suppose the observed reading is 0 0.073 centimeter and the zero error is found to be minus 0 0.007 7. Okay. So, the correct reading would be would be 0 0.073 minus within bracket minus 0 0.007. That will be equal to 0 0.073 plus 0 0.007. So, it gives us 0 0.080 centimeter or we can write 0 0.08 centimeter okay in this way we can find the correct reading now let us find out the diameter of a well using the screw gauge okay students let us now find the diameter of this well using this screw gauge this screw gauge is free from zero error so how to find out the diameter for that first of all we need to find the pitch okay students in this screw gauge when the thimble goes through a complete rotation on the sleeve it covers a distance of 1 millimeter so what would be the pitch so the pitch would be equal to 1 millimeter okay now what we need to do next we need to find out the least count so i need to go through and check how many divisions are there on the surplus scale in this screw gauge i have 50 divisions Okay, number of divisions on circular scale is equal to 50. So, what is least count then? Pitch divided by divisions. Okay, that will be equal to 1 by 50 or 0 0.02 millimeter or I can write 0 0.002 centimeter so this is the least count for this screw gauge so let us now put the wear between the studs so now i have a small gap between the studs so i need to put the wire like this and then i need to rotate the thimble so that the wire is tightened between the studs so what i need to check then i need to check the main scale reading so i can see that the Thimble is located after 1 millimeter division marking of the main scale. That means it lies between 1 and 2. So I need to take main scale division as 1 millimeter. Fine. 
So now I need to find out the circular scale reading. So how I can get it? I need to check which of the division of the circular scale coincides with the baseline of the main scale. So let me check then. Okay, here the 14th division of the circular scale coincides with the baseline of the main scale. Okay, so what should be the circular scale reading then? Scale reading would be number of the division that is 14 into the least count 0 0.002. So it gives me 0 0.028 centimeter. So what is the final reading then? We need to add main scale reading with the circular scale reading. So main scale reading is equal to 1 millimeter that is 0 0.1 centimeter and circular scale reading is circular scale reading is 0 0.028 centimeter. So final reading would be 0 0.1 plus 0 0.028 centimeter. So it gives me 0 0.128 centimeter. So this is the diameter of the wire. As we don't have any zero error in this Kruger, that is why 0 0.128 centimeter is the final reading or it is the final diameter of the wire. Okay. Hope you understand. Students, you might have observed at your home that whenever we keep rotating the screw that is fixed to any kind of furniture for any region. So after some days what happens? that screw doesn't rotate at once. Same thing happens with the screw gas. See, when I open the screw gas properly and take the thimble out of the screw gas, so you can observe that there are threads which are there at the end of the stud and there are threads inside the sleeve as well. So what happens after some days when the screw gas is used time and again, and the thimble is rotated in both the direction. So the threads they get damaged. As we have already discussed to adjust the gap between the studs, we need to rotate the thimble in the direction forward and backward. So what happens are the threads are damaged when we try to rotate the thimble in the opposite direction, the tip of the screw doesn't rotate at once. It rotates after some time. So this gives an error in the measurement and that is called the backlash error. So how we can prevent the backlash error? We can prevent the backlash error by handling the screw guards very carefully. That means we should rotate the thimble in only one direction. If any time we need to rotate the thimble in the opposite direction, so we can go ahead for some time and then we can rotate in the reverse direction. We should not rotate the thimble in the reverse direction at once. There might be problems in the threading. That is why it is not rotating at once. But if we can go ahead for some rotation and then we can reverse it, then it will work properly. Okay. In that way, we can avoid the backlash error. Okay. Hope you understand. So students, from this discussion, we can come to a conclusion that let it be a meter ruler, a one year caliber or screw guard. If the least count decreases, the accuracy increases. That means decreasing list count increases accuracy. Okay. Hope you understand. Students, today we have discussed some of the concepts of screw gauge. Hope you have understood everything clearly. If not, please watch the video again. Go through the book, read out everything properly and practice. I hope you would understand everything clearly. And what you need to do then? You need to revise it. So, as I always say, keep practicing. Keep revising and most importantly, keep smiling.